Hey, happy 2017. Sean Gentile here. Today we're discussing words, specifically derogatory words. We will define derogatory words, we will uncover why we use them, and we will also explore some alternative ways to communicate so that we can feel good about ourselves even in a breakup or divorce. We're here today with our friends Tiffany Hi. and Edwards. They've been so gracious to participate in our word analysis. Now in order to understand what we're speaking of, we have to define the words that are in question. Tiffany, would you be willing to define what a derogatory word is? Yes, I would love to say that word, but I would feel uncomfortable to say that word. And why would you be uncomfortable to use words that are derogatory? Because it's unsanitary, but we still use them. Have you used curse words or derogatory words yourself? Yes. It's so interesting how when we have a videotape that people are very uncomfortable with using negative words when they can use them in their private life. How about you, Edwards? Would you like to give a description of some derogatory words that you hear on a daily basis or perhaps when you're in a breakup? Hi, Sean. Yes, I, um, I'm not uncomfortable with it. Um, these things are starting to be our everyday use. Is mainly used to um, demeanor uh, our partners as well as our friends and co-workers. But can you actually describe those words so we know what words we're speaking of? Um, yes, a lot of these words are starting to come out in our songs on, on our everyday uses, but it's basically being used to uh, demeanor other people. It's like nigga, girl, um, whole slut, some of those same words is basically saying hi, and other times the same words are being used, like uh, my nigga are being just saying hello. Now that we've defined the words that people have heard before, we want to know why do people use words that are derogatory? We use them when we angry, when we fight, instead of thinking, before we use the word and be calm. And what about you, Edwards? Why do you think people use derogatory words? I would say that basically it's part of being ignorance and it's made to hurt um, whoever is being um, voted, um, I guess, focused toward that individual. Could you elaborate on that depending on who you're talking to? Elaborate on that, please. Well, it could be a male or female, um, our spouse, our family member, whoever you're angry at that's been injected toward that person. Tell me, do you think people want to use those words or is it something that they do when they're simply not thinking? Um, no, it's starting to be a, a every, in our everyday curriculum. Even at um, school, the teachers are starting to be taught um, slang words to, um, to cope with the new, um, the new kids of the future. So you may think that our standards are simply being lowered? Yes, our standards are being lowered. So as Edwards pointed out, he mentioned that our society perhaps may be lowering its standards. So you may ask, is using negative language bad at all? Or can we accept it as the norm? Tiffany? No, Sean, I think you should not use a bad word because we pass it down to our kids and plus we're going into business doing that and we don't want business doing that to us when we come here and talk to them about business and personalized stuff. I heard Tiffany say she did not want our language to be a, at a lower standard. Now Edwards, what is your opinion? Should we accept bad language or derogatory language as the norm? Well, Sean, that's a good question. Um, we do have what we call freedom of speech, but we have a culture barrier that is constantly changing. Um, we have to uh, understand what is acceptable at the right time and at the right place. And if we cross over those gaps, it would be a big um, change in the way we're doing things, but at the same time, we're making things that 
is unacceptable is being said at the wrong time. My personal opinion is I do enjoy freedom of speech, but there's something significant about using derogatory language. In a sense, it tears away at someone's dignity in certain situations. On the other side of the coin, I could see where if you haven't reached a person and you want to show them that you're overly angry, it may have a benefit. But in most circumstances, I think it just shows an extreme lack of human development to keep using a language and it's no end in sight. So it's just, you have to weigh it in certain circumstances. I like to present myself professionally in my business and I always like to feel comfortable with what's going on in society. So I'm wondering why do people after many, many, many years they're still using derogatory language. It's almost as if there's a, a need within them has been unmet. Yes, Sean, I'd like to elaborate uh, on that point. Um, as we seek a way to, without striking out, physically hitting someone, but yet you're chipping away at the foundation by using um, demean your words instead of fists and, um, I would say, um, sticks and knives but it's doing the exact same thing with words. We have to find a way to breach that gap and um, get back to the way the basics. Yes, I love both of them comments and we like to brief on the gaps of what we're doing in this country about kids and their life of what's going on in this world. And now we'll discuss alternative measures to using derogatory language so we can feel good about ourselves. Tiffany, what are some things we can do so that we don't have to use derogatory language? So that question is to step back, think before you speak. If you get upset, just think before anything come out your mouth and think positive about what you're going to say. In Edwards, Tiffany made a good point about thinking before you speak. What else can you offer as a solution to not using bad language. Um, I guess we can go back and use the uh, five second rules that we um, tell our children. Just stop, take a breather, a five second rule, and think about how that other person feels in your shoes. Maybe that would help. That's an excellent point, Tiffany and Edwards. I'd also like to say what Edward said was part of seek first to understand the other person's viewpoint and it may give you more perspective. Sometimes our feelings within ourselves are uncontrollable and you may benefit by seeking professional help with a counselor to channel your powerful anger. Anger is a valid emotion and if you make anger your best friend and make an effort to use the correct words, you can come out a winner. And just a side note, I always want to know why people sometimes who have achieved a level of success keep using bad words and I'm wondering if there's still more emotional work to do. And that may be one of the questions that may never be answered for me. I know for myself when I used to be a little rebel in my younger years, I learned that that no longer suited me, so I want to behave in a more gracious, professional fashion. But that may not be for everybody. So it may be an unanswered question why people still use negative language after they've achieved somewhat of a success in life. And lastly, it's very important to consult with our youth about how they actually feel about hearing derogatory language and as adults, what we can present to them in the form of language. So Kian, I'd like to ask you, how do you feel about derogatory language? I'm not like what people say cuss words about people because that would let people say cuss word at, back to them. And how does that make you feel? Not happy. Okay, well I thank you so much for giving your opinion. That's very nice of you.